thank you, thank you so much, Mr. Hamish. Thank you, and wish you all the best with your hard work. And just, I just wanna say we appreciate you. And uh, we have, I have achieved like ninety three percent. Sanmanani, Sanmanani, Sanmanani. This is who am I? No kula wam kisses mongo. I live in Devon in KwaZulu Natal and I was born in Kwaslavisa in KwaZulu Natal. Uh I'm Hamish, let's get started. You all ready? Let's go. If you face out here, make sure you come right here, subscribe and share this to a lot of people, to your friends, whoever thinks. Because you might think it's not helpful for you, but it might be, it might be very, very helpful to a lot of people. And another thing I apologize, a lot of nose in the background just a little bit but as you see I apologize because I don't have no other option for the day this is the only place I have making this video so you know if you experience any background noises as you see I apologize thanks a lot for your time let's get started and thank for your donation it means so much to us now let's go so question 10 they say in the diagram below is a reflex angle what does that mean <coughs> excuse me T-O-P oh diagram below the reflex T-O-P what is the reflex let's say for example uh, we have this, let's say something like this. So the reflex of this is this part here. Means this is the reflex. So the reflex of this is this. That's what I say here. That gonna be the reflex of T O P. T O is original. And this is P. T O P means this angle here. Look. T O P means like T O N P. So this is the angle, their reflex is this one, which is this part here. So T, O is original, P, O and P. So this is the angle, the reflex is here. Now, what do you want? They give here equal to negative five and negative two. So before we do anything, I want to show you this because this is very, very important. If you have, only if it's a right angle triangle. Let's say this is a right angle triangle. So, you see, this one here at the bottom, if it's a 90 degree, this length here we call hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. And this height here we call opposite. And this is adjacent. So, this hypotenuse, this adjacent at the bottom and opposite are there, are the one which is tending vertical. Opposite the one which is tending vertical. Okay? So, now we go. So for that case, but a triangle must be a right angle triangle. So if I have this, face and foremost, connect, make a triangle. Okay, make a triangle. So how are we gonna make a triangle? Connect your triangle with the horizontal. But before, look, if I have a Cartesian plane, uh, and then I have something like this, it's a line. So let me connect, make a triangle, means I'm gonna connect it like this. So this 90 degree, so this is hypotenuse now, because it's like I turn the triangle. So this hypotenuse, and the one which is tending is opposite, opposite, and here this adjacent. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody, for example, they say, uh, they give me a triangle, let's say this is 10, and let's say this is equal to six. They say find the adjacent, how am I get adjacent? So I'll say uh, from the Pythagoras, you only apply Pythagoras if your triangle is a right angle triangle. Is this a right angle triangle? Yes. Now let's apply Pythagoras. So we have a Pythagoras. Pythagoras. So Pythagoras theorem always you can memorize like this. This will make your laugh easy. You say Pythagoras always equal to hypotenuse square equal to opposite square plus adjacent square. Do you have a hypotenuse? So this is what you should memorize for Pythagoras. Do you have hypotenuse? Yes. What is hypotenuse for this case? 10. If I don't have, I don't have to fill up anything. But for this case, I have. So say 10 square equal. Do I have opposite? Yes, this is opposite, 6. Do I have adjacent? No, we don't have adjacent. So now what? 10 square equal to 100. This 6 is square 36. So this is going to give us 36. So 36 is going to come back. So it's going to be minus 36 equal to adjacent square. So 100 minus 36 equal to 64 equal to adjacent square. Oh, okay. So adjacent square equal to 64. So now, how are we gonna get uh, adjacent? Means I'm gonna square root on the left, and I'll square root also here. So adjacent equal, when you square root 64, you get eight. But whenever you square root, your number must be positive or negative. Only if you square root both sides. 
So this is going to be plus or minus. Always. Only if you square both sides. So now I'm going to come here. Like, like for example, y square equal to 16. When you square square, you get y equal to plus or minus 4. But if somebody give you m equal to square root of 25. Like, they give like this. The answer is just only 5. You know why? Because you don't square root both sides. Okay? So this is not part of the question. But for this time now, we square root both sides. So answer must be possible negative. So now if you come to this triangle, look, this is a number line here. So you think this will be positive 8 or negative 8? Ah, come on. This must be negative 8 because of negative. So it's not going to be positive 8. It's going to be negative what? Negative 8. You know what I'm saying? So now, let's come to this business here. Another thing. So one more thing. One more thing, guys, before we start this question. I want to break down for you so you understand all the concepts and you'll never be in trouble in the future. You see? And now, another thing. If somebody gives, let's say, a triangle like this, let's say this is a triangle, for example. It's a triangle. Oh my God. Oh, it's not dried yet, that's why it doesn't dry. Wow. Hold just a second. Okay. If this is a triangle, for example, we're coming down now to the question, guys. I want to make sure that I break down for you well. Okay, if let's say this is five, and then uh, let's say, uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, this is theta, and this, let's say three. They say find x. So this is hypotenuse, and this is uh, opposite, and this is what is? Okay, no, 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 no. Let's say they don't give you this three. Let's say they don't give you three. Uh, they give you an angle equal to 10. They say find x and y, or a and b, whatever. So we know for a fact this is hypotenuse, this is opposite, this is adjacent. So we have a little formula here, it's called Sokatoa, a trick that we use. You say so ka toa So sine equal to opposite of hypotenuse, Cos equal to adjacent of hypotenuse and tan equal to opposite of adjacent. So now we come here. What do I want? I want to get what? I want to get what? I want to get the adjacent. This is adjacent, guys, because at the bottom is like the tan this triangle. And this is the opposite. Oh, so this is opposite and this is adjacent. This is opposite. Well, let's go. So now what I want to get? I want to get adjacent. So it's always good if you want to calculate anything. Take one unknown and the other stuff must be known. So if I look here, I want to take angle, hypotenuse, and adjacent. I must have a three because look, one, two, three. Because if I take this, this, and this, you see I'm going to have a two unknown. So take two unknown and one unknown. Oh, okay. So now I have a hypotenuse, an angle, and adjacent to get x. Oh, so hypotenuse. So take, oh, oh let's take two. Adjacent and hypotenuse. What is it? Oh, so this will be what? Cos. Adjacent, I don't worry about this. Adjacent and hypotenuse. So, I'm gonna say cos because I, you see two words. So I'm gonna say cos of angle. Whatever you say cos must be angle in front of it equal to adjacent. What is adjacent? X over over what over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse equal to five. You see now how are you gonna get x? I must multiply by five. I must multiply by five. This is the cancel. So my x which is adjacent equal to five cos of thirty. And then I will take this one, apply the calculator five. Cos of 30 means square root of 3 over 2. But you can plug in the calculator, it's going to give you a final answer. You know what I'm saying? So, 5 cos of angle. Now, if you want to get a uh, opposite or opposite, we're going to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I'll say my opposite. So, let me show you the easy way. You know what I'm saying? Because this is too long by looking at the formula. Just one thing you should remember forever and ever and ever. If you're looking for the opposite, just remember this, guys. I don't want to waste a lot of your time. Opposite meaning sign. And if you look for adjacent, means cos. The rest of the stuff do is supposed to be done. Opposite is sine, and adjacent is cos. Oh, so now what I'm looking for, I'm looking for the opposite. Opposite is what is? Sine. So I'm going to say, okay, my opposite, which is y, we know it's always sine. What is the angle? Our angle equal to 30. But I make sure before the sine, you must multiply by the hypotenuse, which is 5. And you want to put in the calculator, this is going to give you 5 times sine of a half, sine of the uh, fair equal to a half, which is going to be 5 times 1, 5 over 2. Now, let's come for the opposite. I'm going to do the same thing for adjacent, but I use this trick here. 
So my adjacent, we say adjacent is cos. So this adjacent, so we say adjacent equal cos. What is my angle? 30. But I always multiply by the cos is equal to 5. Can you see? So this was a long method, but this is easy method. So it's equal to 5 times cos of 30 equal to square root of 3 over 2. You plug in the calculator, you get your answer. Easy like that. So now, let's come here. You're going to see how easy this is going to become. You finish now. Yeah. Easy, guys. Okay, cool. Now, let's come here now. So, face and foremost, before you do anything, connect your triangle. Connect your triangle. And when you connect, you must connect to the x-axis. Never connect this one. You must connect to the x-axis. So, I'm going to let's connect. Okay, so if they say this point P is negative 5 and negative 12, what that mean? means the value of x is negative 5 and the value of y is negative 12. So, x equal to negative 5 means this distance is negative 5 from here to there is negative 5. And this is y. So y means vertical. Means this thing is negative what? Negative 12. Okay. So this triangle here, look, this is our triangle. So your angle always starts from here. This is your angle. Say, man, it's out of the triangle. So that's a tricky. Your angle will start from here all the way to where it's top. So now we're gonna say, what do you want? Let's say find cos of alpha. What is cos? Cos is adjacent do not forget the tricky cos is adjacent sign is opposite cos is adjacent adjacent or bottom and this is cos and sign so cos is adjacent or you can say something x axis and sign is sign is what is always y or opposite something which is tangent so now we go cos of alpha what is cos cos meaning it's a lot of ways you can do this question man so now they say uh, determine the value of each of the following trigonometric without using calculator. Without using what? Calculator. So now this is easy. So if I want to get cos, I can just go to soccer talk. So this is the one I need all the time. Let me just do this. You need to memorize this. Don't worry about time, eh? You only start on this cos and sine. That's all you need the most. So we're going to use soccer talk for this case. So, soccer for this question. You know why? Because first and foremost, excuse me. You have opposite and you have it, you have adjacent and you have opposite. And this is a right angle triangle. So if it's a right angle triangle, we can use Pythagoras. You know what I'm saying? We can use all Pythagoras. So if you don't want to use that, you can just use some Look. You know what I'm saying? They say cos of y. Cos of y. Okay. So how do you say? Cos. I can use this. So I'm going to say cos of my angle which is alpha from here to there, equal adjacent, what is adjacent? This, which is negative five, over, over what my hypotenuse. Do you have a hypotenuse? No. You see, so first and foremost, I was supposed to find the Pythagoras. This is very important. Let me, let me say this, okay. Before you start to solve this part here, in the final exam, make sure you find any unknown length. We have adjacent, we have opposite, find the hypotenuse quickly. Let's get it. So how am I going to use this? I'm going to use what? Pythagoras. So say Pythagoras is a hypotenuse square equal to opposite square plus adjacent square. What is my hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is this long length we don't have, which is OP. So I'm going to say OP, I don't know you, but we have a square. Opposite, this one, which is negative 12, but what? Square plus adjacent is negative 5, but what? Square. So 1 negative 4, 4, when you square, you get uh, 1 for 4. four. Plus negative twelve square you get what you get twenty five and this is gonna give us one sixty nine equal to OP square. So how am I gonna get that OP? Means I have to square root both sides. Square root here, square root here. So OP length means OP equal to thirteen plus or minus. But a uh, hypotenuse, this is not X, it's not what it's not negative, it's not plus because look, it's not like going up or down, it's just length hypotenuse, it does not have a positive, it doesn't have a negative, it doesn't have none of those. Because it's like this length. The only thing which is possible, like when you go up or down, or you go straight horizontal right, or straight horizontal to the left. So this is just a 13. So for this length here, you see, it's not like 
this or this or that, that. So just 13. So now you come here, cos of angle, cos equal to adjacent, what am I adjacent? Negative 5, and then over hypotenuse. Because they will say find the cos of angle, hypotenuse equal to 13. In order to, so cos equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have our cos equal to negative 5 over 13. Negative 5 over 13. Negative 5 over 13. We got our cos over there. Cool. Now let's go for the second one. So for the second one is B. So number one B phase. Let me explain to you what is tan. Tan, if somebody gives you tan, let's say A plus B. So you need to memorize this formula. Tan A plus B, you memorize guys. Don't depend on the formula sheet. This stuff is easy. You see me? I'm not looking at it. You memorize. It takes only one minute to memorize. So tan A plus B, you should take tan of A. You memorize this guys. Tan of A. See? You take tan of A. And then if this is plus, this must be plus also. And this is tan of the second one, which is B. And then you over one see plus plus this must be opposite this same sign must be same as this but at the bottom you change so plus plus this will become minus and then take this multiply by this times a times tan of b you see what i'm saying but if it's minus see plus plus negative but if it's minus like this means this is going to be minus because tan a minus b whatever sign is here it must be the same as this same same this must be difference now let's go so what do you want? One tan of 180 minus alpha. So we're going to say tan of 180 because our A is like 180 minus our B is alpha equal tan of A. What is our A? A is like 180. Tan 180 minus B is like alpha. So minus minus and then tan of the second one which is alpha over 1 plus tan of A. What is A? Tan of 180. And then tan of Alpha. Now we go. What is tan of 180? Not. They say don't use a calculator. Now how I'm going to know tan of 180? There is something called special angle. With a special angle, even if you use calculator, they're not going to know. As long as your angle is a special angle. So let me list for you the special angle. The special angle are 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, 180, to 180 to 70 360 these are special angles guys you know what i these are special angles so even if you use calculator with them they're not gonna find out but also even if you have a see this one 60 plus 45 105 105 you can take as a special angle because you can break into two special angles you know what i'm saying for example you have a 105 look one and a half five is like a 60 plus 45. So still like a special angle. Okay, let's say you have a 135. Okay, if you have a 135, it's like 90 and 45. You see, so it's still a special angle if you're 135 because if you break it, it's gonna give you two special angles. Another one, it could be uh, 225, look. 225, what is 225? 25 means 180 plus plus 45 so still 2 to 5 can be special angle because you can break into two special angles so this angle here even if you use calculator they're not going to find out yourself so here i can plug in the calculator even though they say, don't use a calculator plug in the calculator they're not going to know because this is special angle but if it was let's say 12 no if you plug it they're going to know and you don't want to get max so now for this case you're going to say turn of, uh, turn of 180 turn of 180 go to zero so tan of 180 equal to 0, so this is going to be 0 minus tan of alpha, it's just a tan of alpha. And then 1 is just 1, so tan of 180, we know 0, 0 times tan of, 0 times anything is 0. So tan of 180 is 0, 0 times anything is 0, so this is going to be 0, it's going to be 1 plus 0. And now 0 minus tan of theta is going to be tan over 1 plus 0, just a 1. You know what I'm saying? Ah, what I did right here, my apologies, first of all. Something wrong here, my part, guys. Like I said, it's going to be a little noise. Zero minus this. This zero is just going away. So it's going to be minus tan alpha over one. But anything divided by one is that something. If you have a five divided by one is five. So negative tan alpha divided by one is just a negative tan alpha. So all this stuff is negative tan or alpha. 
Now let's go to the last one. So the last one is easy. Like I said, guys, make sure you memorize this formula. Okay, don't depend on formula shit because you don't want to make it if you depend on formula shit because sometimes they're giving away just to confuse you, okay? Now let's go for the last one. The last one is easy. So the last one is easy but easy, guys. So the last one also you have to memorize the another formula, so it's very, very important. Okay, so let's make some space here. Okay, you memorize the following formula of a compound, guys. Very, very, very important. Okay, so the compound formula, excuse me, let me just make some space here, guys, because we need now space here. Okay, let's go, 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 let's go guys. Okay, sort of there. Thank you for your patience. Okay, cool, here we go. Ready to go. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. So if somebody give you, excuse me, somebody give you, let's say, let me write like here. Okay, if somebody give you guys, see this is sign, but it's a compound because you got one thing and another one. So if somebody give you this, so you gotta memorize. Somebody give a sign of A plus B. You see me, I memorize. It takes only one minute to memorize. Sign of A plus B. This is what you do. You say sign of the face angle. See this face angle? Face angle. And then if it's sign, sign cos. So if sign, remember, whenever you have a sign compound, what is compound? Compound means it's a combination of two things. So sign A plus B. So just remember sign A plus B. Or even sign A plus B. Just remember for sign compound, you always just memorize one thing. Sign cos. For sine compound, it's sine cos. Okay, so the sine compound is going to be sine of the first one, then cos of the second. That's all you need. For sine compound, it's sine cos. And the next one is going to follow. Look how it's going to follow. For sine, this plus is going to be plus. And then you switch it. You see this one? You switch. Take it cos here and then take this sine here. So it's going to be. Oh, take this cos here. Take this cos here, so it's going to be cos, and leave the B, leave the A, so we leave the A, and then take this sign here. It's going to be sign of B. You see how easy it is, guys? You see? So just memorize for sine compound is sine cos. That's what you need to memorize, okay? So for example, like here, sine of 30 minus alpha. So this sine of 30 minus alpha. So we know sine of a compound of a two things is sine cos. So this is going to become, it's going to be sine of the first angle. And then it's going to be cos of the second angle. If this minus must be the same sign, okay? And then for sign, okay, now we do it, switch it. Okay, now let's switch it. Let's switch it quick, guys. So now this, see, minus, minus. So we're going to switch this sign, right? This one coming is going to be cos. And then you see this, it's going to be just all 30. And this cos, right? So this sign is going to replace this cos, it's going to become what? Sign of alpha. Now we're going to have, what is sign of alpha? Theta, sign of theta. Theta is a special angle, so even if I use a uh, calculator, no one will know, even though they told me not to use a calculator. Sign of theta equal to a half. Sign of theta equal to a half, so this is going to be a half, and then half times cos of alpha, and then this is going to become cos of theta. What is cos of theta? Cos of theta, we know. Cos of theta, you can check it's a special angle that no one know, but I mean, I know in my head, it's going to feel over two, and they have a sign of alpha. So you see, we finish it. So the only problem here, it's not all the problem. We can finish by saying a half. So this one we can get cos of alpha. Come to your triangle. Cos of alpha. So you see you can use this triangle here. So katoa. So ka toa. So cos of alpha. This is a triangle. This is our angle alpha. Cos. What is cos? Excuse me. Cos adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is negative 5. So cos is going to be negative 5 over, over hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse? 13. 13, 13, okay? Now we go for the next one. So this is going to be minus, minus, and then we have the square root of 3 over 2, and then sine of alpha. What is sine? Sine is opposite of hypotenuse. Sine is opposite. What is opposite? Opposite. Look, this is a triangle. Opposite, opposite, over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is equal to 13. 13. So now we can finish up this one here quick, and that's going to be the end of the equation, okay? So this is going to be. Now, 1 times negative 5 is negative 1, 5, 2 times 13 is equal to 26, and then minus negative and negative, you multiply negative and negative is going to be plus, now square root of 3 times 12, you can just say 12, square root of 3, you can leave the part of this, means 12, square root of 3, and then 2 times 13 equal to 26. So the denominator are the same, so if the denominator are the same, means we don't have to write them two, I can write only one, 
which is 26, and then this will be negative 5 plus 12 square root of 3, square root of 3. So this equal to that. Or if you don't want to write that, I can start with this positive, square root of 13, square root of 3, excuse me, I'm going to say 3, and then minus can come after, and then over 26. Look, man. If you have any question, please leave the comments below. I'll be more than happy to respond to your comments. Okay. Thanks a lot of peace. It's just a waste of time. Easy question. And it's easy like that, man. Thanks a lot of You know what I'm saying? Look, man, I believe in learning from how to do things. If it's time, make sure you subscribe and you know, you can just go and do donations to our Patreon page. I have a Patreon, I have a GoFundMe. You know what I'm saying? I have all the means of donation because to make this project going, you know. Any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change. And thanks a lot for all your time. You know, subscribe, don't forget, share this video, circulate to a lot of people. You know, because the meaning of this project, this program, is to help as many as we can. Okay, it's not only for one patient or two, because you might think it's not helpful for you. But for somebody next out there, it could be very, very helpful. So thanks a lot, man. And you know, any donation that you did to me, it means so much. I appreciate it, man. It means a lot. Go to our Patreon page. Go to our uh, GoFundMe because we need to have a, you know, a lot of things we need to put them together, like camera, you know, and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on you know, a lot of angle, a lot of aspects of these projects, you know. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it and I love you. Peace and love. Bye. You know, this is one of my children of knowledge, you know. She wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Kamri. Yeah. I have two sons in primary schools. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to work back to me. I'm trying to work back to me. trying to work back to me. everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my other son. His name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, yeah. He's great level, man. So his aim is to score a decision, right? So you promise I want you to score a decision this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Well, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> Distinction. Yeah, so total budgets everywhere, man. China and Bachu. Everywhere. China and Bachu everywhere. Everywhere. China and Bachu. Exactly. Everywhere. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. motivating sometimes to do the harder stuff you like just want to get done but it's the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy